Hello, welcome to the Daily Devotion. I'm Kathy Morris, pastor of the Dixon United Methodist Church. When we think about the Apostle Paul, most often we focus on his teachings about Christ. But Paul also cared a great deal about the Christians he knew and loved. He cared about the hardships and sufferings that they experienced. Out of his love for others, Paul wrote letters that were very pastoral. He spoke words of encouragement and comfort to them. Our Bible reading for today comes from the second letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 2, verses 16 and 17, and I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and through grace gave us eternal comfort and good hope, comfort your hearts and strengthen them in every good work and word. The comfort that Paul speaks of is not just comfort for the present moment. Paul believed that when we have that eternal promise of Christ's saving love, then we are able to experience comfort in this moment and every moment. Gerhard Terstegen was a very devout Christian who lived in Germany in the 18th century. He had a profound conversion experience when he was 20 years old, and after that he devoted himself to a life of solitude. During this time, he earned his living as a ribbon weaver. I thought that was the lovely thought of, of having that as your, as your job, weaving ribbons. He though later dedicated his whole life and time to spiritual writing and spiritual direction. His hymns have endured with the deep sign of spiritual trust in Christ and his love. Here is one of his prayers. Strengthen our souls. Animate our cold hearts with your warmth and tenderness, that we may no more live as in a dream, but walk before you as pilgrims in earnest to reach their home and grant us all at last to meet with your holy saints before your throne and there rejoice in your love forever and ever. Gerhard Terstegen saw the heart as the center of our spiritual lives. Comfort for our hearts was more than soothing. The comfort that we receive from Christ animates our cold hearts. The comfort of Christ fills us with a warmth and tenderness that makes it possible for us to live our lives with holy purpose. For your prayer exercise for today, I invite you to get a hot drink of some sort. So whether it's tea or coffee or cocoa and just hold that hot mug in your hands and feel the warmth spreading. As you do that, offer a prayer asking that God would fill your heart with warmth so that you may know the tenderness of Christ.